summer. I hope you're enjoying the heat. <laughs> I'm going to read you a book, um, The Night Before Summer Camp by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Mindy Pierce. Any of you know who know Mrs. Trail, you know I love these Night Before books. I want you to listen closely if you see some rhymes and see if you recognize the theme or the rhyming behind this. What book that you are familiar with or it's familiar with. All right, so twas the night before day camp when at the town park the counselors were working till well after dark. The canoes were moored by the boat dock with care in hopes that young paddlers soon would be there. Sound a little familiar to something you've heard? The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of butterflies danced in their heads. But not everyone was happy about going to camp, especially Rick, who was the worry bird champ. <laughs> Ever not wanted to do something different or new? Can you understand how he feels? In the morning, Mom woke him. Rise and shine, kiddo. But he pulled up the covers. I don't want to go. I don't know anyone there. I'll be gone all day. Can't I just go over, go over to Tommy's and play? <laughs> that sounds a lot more fun, right, than doing something new? Camp is one giant playtime, Mom said. So don't you stress. And it's not an overnighter. Okay, I'll try, I guess. At least he's trying, right? Gotta try something new. The bus picked him up at the end of the street. Mom's hugging him goodbye. And dropped off the kids where the sign said to meet. There was a whole bunch of children, none that Rick knew. He felt lost and lonely. What do I do? Ever felt like that? Do you know how he's feeling? Come join the Lions Club, said his counselor, Kim, who today was teaching the kids how to, what rhymes with Kim? Swim. <laughs> Kick your feet, move your arms, place your face in the water. Excellent, Rick. You'll, you swim like an otter. <laughs> Why do you think they picked otter for that? term because it rhymed. For the rest of the morning, the cubs explored nature trails. They saw butterflies, birds, crawly bugs, snakes, and snails. Camp can be so much fun. They gathered up sticks and found bark to make boats, then set them all a sail. Hey, look, mine really floats. Look at them floating their boats. <laughs> When what at the edge of the lake should appear, but a beautiful doe and two baby brown, what do you think it is? What's a doe? Deer. <laughs> their eyes, how they twinkled. Their bobtails, so twitchy. Their legs were so slender, while Rick's were so itchy. <laughs> that happens outside in the summer, doesn't it? Anybody starving, asked Kim. It's time to eat lunch. Look at them all running. But Rick wasn't hungry. He missed his mom a whole bunch. Uh-oh, anybody ever have that happen? Oops, don't miss the page, Mrs. Trail. Counselor Kim sat beside him and asked, Are you okay? I want to go home, Rick told her. I'm kind of nervous today. Kim smiled and said, Hey, little cub. I'm nervous just like you. This is my very first job. I'm away from home too. We older people, we get like that too. Last night I tossed and turned in my bed. I couldn't get the jitters out of my head. Same here, replied Rick. I really understand. So whenever you're nervous, just hold on to my hand. It's a deal, said Kim, and thanks for the talk. Could you help me carry the jump rope and chalk? So he found a friend, didn't he? The rest of the week, Rick had oodles of fun. <laughs> there were three-legged races, which he and Kim won. <laughs> he made a scrapbook and drum at the arts and crafts table starred in a play from an old 
Aesop's Fable. Day camp ended on Friday. Oh, what a bummer. I want to go back for two weeks next summer. <laughs> wait, wait. So one summer, my son didn't want to go to camp. He kicked and screamed the whole way there. And when I picked him up, he's like, I don't want to go home. So we all have to try new things. I hope you're finding new things to try this summer. And I hope you're reading. Bye.